Hello everybody, it's Hassan19, welcome back to Mountain Bay 2 Bannerlord, and our test to 300. We're a little over 6 hours in, we are 408 days, and we are at 270. I think what I really want to do is skate on over, and I want to pick up horses from Kuzai again. I think that's what I really want to do. But I need to be careful on this herd penalty. I'm, at, I'm down to point two six, but all right, they are cheaper here. All right, that's good. I'll definitely take them for two fifty. No step horses. Whoa. There's that. Oh, oh there we go. Sixty nine on all is piece of piece. We're on with that. 71. She is attacked again by looters. I think she's the only one to get attacked. I don't think the Spice Vendor or the Swift have been attacked. Although she does have very, very bad scouting. Right at 250. Once again. Oh, hello. And almost missed that. Akala shouldn't have much. Shouldn't have much at all. Over great prices, very little, a little bit of tools, not much. They're at 53. Take them. Definitely don't have great prices. I know we're getting a little bit of inflation, we're up towards day 500 now. That's when the inflation is going to start to kick in. Forty. All right. Fish at seventeen. We got to get fish and grain. Fine with that. Only 107. I have a feeling when I come up here, their fish is not going to be good.
All right, not the greatest. Yeah, not good at all. He's got some really, really weird prices. I don't know what it is about Sargots, but it's like something happened to them and they're able to get a nice diverse amount of items in there. Need some big sales. A little better. Now, oh, much better. Three twenty three. That there we go, two seventy three. It feels like I'm going as slow as I would be if I hit like two hundred. That's how much the new leveling system has pushed it. Um, we need a lot bigger sales than that if we're going to do anything. A lot of oil. I just, I don't know what happened to the price of oil. Like the complete opposite of what it used to be. Oil used to be so much higher than wine. Now wine is higher than oil. You know, I think them getting rid of a couple of the great producing places might have done it. No, because they added that. That's right. They added that in in Batania. Marinoff? Right here. I thought they added, they took away, to, they took away a hardwood, added in a grapes. I'll have to watch that I'll have to, when I get over there. There we go. A little low on that one. There's the wine. Two seventy four. Both those 275 perks, it just saves you a little bit of money is all it does. I guess if you're going to use minor clans a lot, then it would save you. I just don't normally use them because they're, they're so unpredictable. You, you just you can't count on them. Just when you need them, they're leaving you. There's wine. All right, let's go check Ostigan. I don't normally do it because it seems like they have not been good at virtually anything. It feels almost like Jelmaris. Jelmaris is like one of the worst places you can buy and sell at. Their prices are always too high to buy and too low to sell.
All right, uh, no on the horses. Green 10, green 4. Oh, okay, that's not bad. Silver ore isn't bad. Yeah, definitely the silver ore is not bad. I forgot you should buy the silver. If you can, you should you should almost always buy the silver when it's cheap. Because there are quite a few silversmiths out in the world. As workshops that actually don't have a silver mine, so they really need it. We're already up over a mill. them to go in. Yeah, go buy that food. Maybe drive up the price. Oh, nope. Not much at all. Nope, you didn't help me. You're supposed to help me, bud. And Marinette used to have a, this used to be a, uh, a hardwood, or wood, or, yeah, hardwood place, and now it's great. It should be uh, grapes. Yep. That's it. Out of horses. Two seventy five. All right, let's look at these two. Two of the worst perks in the game. Ah, uh, there we go. More carrying capacity. Okay, so recruitment of minor factions into your clan is twenty percent cheap. Not the upkeep, but just initially getting them. Uh, you will get thirty percent reduced ransom offers, which I didn't think that worked. Yeah, I don't think that worked. I'm not sure. Uh, trickle down game re re relation gain relation one with merchant notables gain one relation with no notables if you buy more than 10,000 gold worth of trade goods in a town and then the other uh, is a governor perk so it's like yeah But, uh, yeah, that one's got grapes going there. This has grapes going here. But, yeah, this used to be hardwood. All four of these used to have hardwood. But and then they got rid of that one and made it grapes. That was probably a couple patches ago. Still 7,000 over. And they're not cheap. I'm still 6,000 over. They're not cheap on wine. I guess we'll go hit up a Crotia. And it's a, um, I might need to adjust my horse prices just a little bit. Move them up just a little higher. 
I'm still way overweight, though. Be buying hardwood. Damn. Yeah, I could buy some. Yeah, I'm almost completely underweight now. I have no herd penalty. Only point zero three, so that's like right there what I should be at. Almost four speed. That's just because I don't have horses for them to ride. If I were to get 175 horses, I'd be traveling a lot faster. Nothing good, not a lot of green. We want to start keeping a little bit more profit. We need the profit now. Since we are getting way down there now, we're down to 6.75. We almost cut our uh, multiplier in half. So there's, uh, what was I doing? Three. I, do, I did 315. Uh, let's do 320. I, I want to bump it up. I want to have a little bit more horses. As I said, when I'm coming through here, one of the famous things I like to do to make sure they're getting horses is I'll sit at this village and if this guy hasn't left yet I'll wait for him to leave and follow him into town and he's already left he's not in there or he was captured there he is he's coming back so now if I want to I can wait again uh, but I'm gonna look for a caravan because a caravan could come in and take horses so what I'm gonna do now is sit here and wait to see if one of these two come in but if I start seeing caravans, then I want to go in because they're going to start taking horses. I'm hoping that these guys will come down here pretty soon. You can wait a couple days doing this, but you might be able to get an extra 10, 20 horses out of it. Come on, guys. Problem is you don't know if they've been captured either. They could have got captured by desert bandits, which takes some time to replenish again. There's one. And we'll go now. He's attacked again. <laughs> okay. We got them all. More guy. We're pretty much on track with what I was thinking. Oh, hitting 290 this episode, 300 the last episode. I think we're right on track for that. All right, now we can't sell the desert horses. The price is too low.
to be able to hit 280 in this area, hopefully. That last 10 points, though, that's going to be the big worry. How long is it going to take to hit that? Yikes. It's not a lot of profit. Boy, sometimes it may be very misleading when you look and say, oh my word, I made 20,000. But then you don't realize how much of that is actually profit. That's what matters. Oh, there's our wine. Olives. Still got 300 olives. It don't matter. You could you could sell fifty thousand if there's no profit involved. You're not getting any experience. All right, Swift. Night time. Yeesh. That's bad. I got grapes, I got fish. Two seventy eight. Just need uh, a couple sales to push me up over that two eighty mark. I'm kind of like treating it as a uh, five every half hour, five points, and that would put me right at about the two ninety mark at the at this eight hours. But I mean, if you can get three hundred trade in less than in less than ten hours real time. And 600 days in-game time. I think that pretty much makes a, a trader a viable option now. The only thing I'd like to really see changed is the caravans. I think the caravans need major work. I'm, I'm, that's the one thing I am very, very unhappy about in this game. Is definitely caravans. They need some serious help. Uh, I don't know why things change constantly. The only thing I can assume is that it has to do with the economy. I don't know. As Mexico stated, to really find that out, they would have to follow a caravan around the map to see what they're buying and selling to be able to track that. So it's not an easy thing to do at all. Because you got to see what they're selling, how much they're selling it for, figure that all out. But that's where I just said, why can't we just increase the trade? Have a separate number in the program for trade penalty reduction for caravan. Like make it maybe twice the amount of what we get it for. That making it easier for them to make profit. Because they should be making a lot of profit and they're not. bit ridiculous how much they make. Kind of a joke. I'm definitely not taking as much stuff as I should take. I think I'm going to take the linen. We're definitely taking the Two seventy nine. We're going. One more point. We still probably got about another twelve minutes before we're at the uh, seven hour mark. 
so we're we're pretty much on track because I gave myself a little buffer when I said ten hours because I figure once we hit that two ninety, it's really gonna bog down. And if we don't get some good sale of horses, then we could run into problems. So um, I think this is going to be a little bit smarter thing for me to do to up the price a little bit. Because I've been able to sell the horses off, but I'm not getting as much profit. Where if I make sure and, and do this correctly, uh, I definitely think this is going to play a very good role in getting that profit that we want. Yeah, that one where you gain one relation if you spend more than 10,000. Most times you're not spending 10,000. Now, maybe that was closer to 5,000. Okay, that's a little different. Oh, they're all gone. That's all right. There we go. That's better. This will definitely, we should put us up over 280. Ooh, we're right there. Right on the money. Boom. Yeah, we're right there. 280 in less than seven hours. Wow. That's what that's money right there. That is huge money. Ten grand just from those horses. Waity. Um I almost feel like All right, what do I want to do? This is where you gotta think what you wanna do. Do I wanna go hit Kuzite territory? So I I think I need to let those horses build up. I really feel like I need to hit Kuzite. I don't really have any horses. And I'm, I have a bad feeling that the Asari are not going to have horses recovered yet. I feel like I need to go all the way over there and let the Asari recover. But yeah, 280 in less than 7 hours. And we're probably only about, what, 430 days in or something like that? I don't even think we're 500 days in. And there's any way possible we're 500. We might hit 500 by the end of this episode. Maybe.
don't need oil. Velvet. Not as good of a price as I was thinking. I thought it'd be a lot more than that. I can get all of them. Yeah, I got all of them. There we go. Nice. Take it all, take it all. The inflation is going up. Spent forty two thousand. Ah, oh, I gotta get rid of them. Good enough. All but 27 are gone. I'm happy with that. Now that I did it here, they're down to 27, which is much better. And even those two, they jump on it and they're going to get them. But what I liked about Warband, you had Manhunters and you also had Lords that were patrolling their lands more. Where here, you're almost always pulled into a, an army. Since everybody's got influence. Constant armies. And also this allows me to be able to replenish my troop before I go back up into... Landia. All right, that looks good. Boom. About to hit it. About to hit 283. Now it is time. Okay, uh, 425 to 325. Oh, a little too much. We gotta be careful with these prices now. We do not want to go overboard on this. They don't have much stuff. Jeez. Zargot must be like the central point of where everybody's getting their supplies. It sucks they don't have better prices to go ahead and sell at. Kind of want to do half and half. Well, I really don't mind getting rid of all the step forces first. I have a bunch of olives. Wine. 283. Two more points. And can we hit 290 by the end of the episode? I would feel somewhat confident that I could hit it and uh, post it. I think it's going to take right around that 10 hours. It might run a little bit over. I hope not.
this shouldn't even be enough to get a level. Nope. You gotta have like 20, 30,000 now. Seems like to get a level. We're almost there. One more decent sale and we'll definitely be 284. I did not pick up men. I'm short too. That will slow you down. Of course you don't have any oil. Oh, a lot of them. Uh, there, we got rid of them. 1400 isn't enough profit. Should be right there at, at 284. That last 10 is going to be a struggle. That's good money. Only about another 20,000 sale. So if I can pull 20,000 right here, that puts us at the 285 mark with more than a half an hour to go, which is really great. However, you see one thing. Let's do that. Uh, how many horses do I have? Take a few. Yeah, I still got 81 desert horses. Be pretty damn close. Hopefully this one will do it. It'll still give us probably about eight minutes to spare. We'll be like eight minutes ahead of schedule right now. I haven't even been looking for this either. How long has it been since I did a wander? 
Oh yeah, that'll do it. That is definitely 285. Oh, I'm almost out of cheese. Boom. 35. Less than... 7 and a half hours. So now we just need to get to 80 before the end of this episode. Um, that's not a terrible price. That's a pretty decent price. Epicrodia. That I'm wondering if I should go back down to Asteroid. Attacked by looters again. Swift made it out. Only lost one. Uh, not the greatest. However, you have stuff to buy. Alright, um... Uh, well, they do have some horses to buy. Well, that's cool. Coming up on the seven and a half hour mark. Estimation. We've already hit our 285, so we're good there. Nope. That's too high. Six. We're already up over our mark. Which is great that we can get that little bit of buffer. Because I have that feeling that last 10 points is going to take a lot longer than I'm thinking. How much into 290 can we get before the end of this episode is going to be the big question. I definitely want it in less than 10 hours. I'm thinking that 10 hours and 600 days is my goal. If I can hit that, I would be extremely happy. Good, we got all those horses. Got them. Them.
I think we're just going to go right back up there. All right, we should be right. We should already be over the seven and a half hour mark. And of course, you do not have horses. Uh, bye. Uh, you do. We're going to need to pick up that butter and definitely the cheese. Uh, cheese is 30. Right, they don't have a lot of stuff here. Oh, wait a minute. Tools. Yeah, you got some tools. Zargot's turned into a terrible place, so... It makes it difficult now, because you lost Ostkin and Braven for horses, and now Sargot, for some reason, is getting horses, and I don't know why. All of a sudden, now, they got horses up the wazoo. There we go. That is a great price. Now, as I think the struggle will begin, we should be under the halfway mark. Yeah, we're 5.5. .5. That is half of, yeah, double that is 11, which I think it's more than 11. So we're already getting half the amount of experience that we would normally get. So really, it's taking it twice as long. We are going to have to go stop at Sargat. Yep, we got to make a pit stop. Although I don't think they have good butter, meat, and cheese. We're going to get that when we go over. Our next route is going to definitely take us over into Kuzite territory where we can get the butter, meat, and cheese. Almost one and a half million. Which I didn't check the days. Let's see what we're at in days right now. Are we at 500? 532. Not looking good to hit it in under 600 days. That pretty much sucks. I just do. Oh, oh. All right, now, oh, 126 for beer. Wow. All right, that's a sale. We are. This is Craven. Wow. Okay. They needed horses. Two eighty seven and a quarter. We need about two and three quarters in the next twenty five minutes. Well, I'd be a lot happier if I was two ninety one to two ninety two. And you can see that I'm not letting the horses dwindle enough. So, I mean, this should be hitting a lot of six, getting close to 600 by now. But it really isn't doing that because uh, I'm not letting them really get rid of all their horses. And that's why in this next trip, we are heading over to Kuzite territory. We got to let that dwindle down a bit.
but I pretty much think I'm going to be dead right on the money, if not a little bit over. As far as hitting 290 this episode and 300 next episode, I might run a little bit longer, but pretty close to it. I really wanted to hit it in 600 days, so I think that's going to be kind of the thing that is really going to bother me the most, is not hitting it in 600. That I was really hoping for. Two eighty-eight. Two more. I don't think we'll get it here. Uh, how much time do we have? Okay, so I got about 22 minutes. We should have enough time to get all the way over to Kuzite, back into Asari territory, and all the way back up through here before the end of the episode. So, will we hit 290? Yes. I, I just how much into 290 is what it's going to be. We definitely shouldn't have no problem hitting 290. Nope. Uh, they don't normally have that. Uh, this is where you're normally going to get some, but we're going to wait. Just because I can get some uh, mules and sand on. Uh, let's see. If I run low on mules, I can grab them at Sayanon as I'm heading over. Get rid of a little bit more on the way over to Kuzite territory. Nice. Out there. Oh no. Wow. I still got like almost one and a half to go. That's what I really want to start picking up. In fact, I think I'm going to do it right now. You can make some really, really good money when I get back down into Asari territory. By doing this, you can like quadruple your money. You know, that's 13. I'll still take it. Can't buy it off the villagers, though. I'm going to bypass that one. We'll head over to this one. He already went to go sell. I mean, I could probably sell for 30 to 40. So I can double to triple my money. It's not a lot. Because it's very heavy. That's one of the biggest problems with dealing with hardwood. But you can make really good profit.
So we finally made it here. We got about 15 minutes to go. I'm hoping, I'm not sure if I can, I'd love to be able to get all the way back down into Blandia in the, by the end of this episode. That is definitely not out of the realm of possibility. I mean, we still have about 15 to 19 minutes, so it, it can definitely be done. I'd like to see how much into 290 I can get. Uh, what was I was supposed to be buying these at what 225? I think I went a little too high on these. Now he's got desert horses, he's got one, but that butter, meat, and cheese is important over here. And we'll take your hardwood and your tools. Oh, 84 on the tools, and for oh, there we go. 224 on that bad boy. Silver ore. A little bit there. Good. Down to Akalot. It won't have much. Why am I why am I forgetting the price? Oh, it's really killing me. I'm forgetting the price of step horses now. Totally evading me. Sucks. I thought they were 50 cheaper than desert horses. So those should be a buy at 275 and sell at 375. I think that's what they're supposed to be. Alright, good, 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 good. Let's go. I definitely did not want to show the entire thing like a thousand day challenge. I didn't want to do that. Uh, you'd be talking, that'd be like 20 episodes, 20 half hour episodes, and uh, I did not want to go that route and show all of that. So I think if I can cut this down to like five one-hour episodes, I think I'll be happy with that. I'm not sure how I'll release them, though. <sighs> that I don't know. I don't want to release them five days in a row, that's for sure. Ooh, too expensive. Way expensive. All right, let's get rid of all the wine. And there's, like I was telling you about the uh, hardwood. You know, I paid 12 13 for it, selling it for 40 You can make really, really good money on that. We're about to tick, what is it, 290 Yeah, 
we got half a level. So we're going to hit 290. Can we hit 291, maybe? Kind of feel like that whole episode is going to need the entire episode just to get those last nine points. That's what I feel like. Uh, I think we're going to hold off. We're going to wait. Come on. This is always a gamble when you do this. You could have four or five caravans run through by a bunch of horses while you're sitting here. So, like I said, always a gamble. To me, it just feels right. And a lot of, of course, the game is feeling. So, once again, now I'm going to sit here. Here comes another one. So, there was two of them. And there's the last one. All three of them hit. Tremendous. Absolutely tremendous. That is what I wanted. Oh, meat. Beer. Sixty-nine for hardwood. You're not gonna sell a ton of it, but you are gonna sell some. And that is major profit. Because we were about halfway into it. That gave, uh, you know, that little bit of hardwood and tools gave, I don't know, what about a tenth of a level? Just that little bit right there. Because so much of it was profit. Eighty-nine riding. Riding is slow, trade EXP is slow, even scouting is slow. So many things that still feel just so damn slow in the game. Oh, still 179. All right, back up there, and they're under siege, which is good and bad. Bad that it's going to waste a little bit of time, but good because they might be able to be paying a higher price for stuff. They're already sieging it, which is good. Their their siege camp is done, so hopefully they take a bunch of stuff. And they got it. There we go. Yeah, it's 425, 325 is what I'm supposed to be doing. I got to remember that. Oh, look at the wine. Jeez. And the beer. Yeah, look at that. They got hardly no food, but they're not paying great prices for it. Two ninety. About five minutes, we'll be able to get through most of this. Yikes.
So we should hit 291. I don't think we're going to hit 292. Oh my word, virtually nothing. I mean, at least we're getting rid of those horses, but yeah, it's virtually nothing. Oh, grain. But I'm like right on track what I said I was. 290 in this episode, 300 the next episode. Pretty much dead on. The non-consumables aren't selling good. I mean, that's the biggest problem that the game has right now is even with my amazing herd, or, uh, penalty reduction, I'm still not able to make enough profit. And I think that's the biggest problem with the game is there isn't enough gap in between the prices of the items. What you can buy them for and what you can sell them for. There isn't enough of a gap. I should have a huge gap. Because I have a 50% penalty to my trade. My pe my trade penalty reduction. Plus an Asteri has a built in 10%. So I'm over 60% of that. That trade penalty is gone. So I should see a lot more dispersed prices. And they're just not there. So I think that's part of the problem. But. I'm going to go ahead and stop right here because I know we're just barely over eight hours. And in the last, last episode, we're going to run this last nine and a quarter points and see how long it takes for us to get. And while we do this, why don't we check how many days it has been? 567. So we are going to hit over 600 days. Not a ton, though. So we're going to hit just over 600 days and right about 10 hours to hit it. I will see you guys in the final episode. Take care and thanks for watching.